Hello everyone in the EDAP 690 class, the class at Mayorville. So this is our final. I showed you this last week, but I'm going to show it to you again and also point out <laughs> that there's a video right here that does the same thing. So um, you get three ways of looking at this if you want to. This is a very straightforward final. There's a little bit of setup you got to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And then we'll walk through how to actually do the um, how to do the hat. So this is Mayor's principles right here. And what I've done is I put them into a nice little table, and you are going to upload into this table right here uh, some PowerPoint, some slides presentation, some YouTube video, brain pop, whatever you use in your class that is multimedia based. Now, if it's just a document, fine. Any file upload, as you know now, will work. How do we get this set up? First thing we need to do is come in and you're going to highlight all of these boxes. And then you're going to copy them. Right click, copy, edit, copy, Apple C, Control C. What am I leaving out? If you're on a Chromebook, it's still Control C. And then we're going to go over and log in to our wonderful wiki space. And I've gone ahead and created the page because you know how to create a page by now. You go up here to pages and files. You go over here to new. You create a new page and you name it. You're going to name it EDAP 690 hat. Okay. EDAP 690 hat because it makes it easy then for me to find it when I want to go look at it. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to new and I'm going to create a new pages and files. Create a page. I'm going to call it EDAP 690HAT. Simple as that. And I'm going to create the page. And it says the page name already exists. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate that already being done. We're all good. Okay. Now, in my page here, make sure I turn on edit. And now I'm going to paste that table we just copied. Apple V, Control V, Chromebook Control V, edit, paste, whatever you use. Now, you have a space where you're going to put your file embed your video or put a link to it however you want to do it over here in these boxes is where you basically evaluate the file in terms of how well does it represent does it meet mayor's principles so i went in earlier and i found a little video here about fractions fourth grade and i'm going to come in and this is something i use in my class so I can come in here to this box and I can do it a couple of ways. I could go ahead and just paste in the link. I want to show off a little bit. I'll come over here to insert video, YouTube, paste in the link, next, insert the plugin and have it. So what I want to do is I'm going to go and watch the video. or if I've already watched the video because I've used it a hundred times in my school, I now know how to look at it through Mayor's lenses. And the first thing I'm looking at is, oh, look, it does signal me as to what we're going to do. Thank you for that. But first, so now coherence principle comes up and it goes, wait a minute. Why are you distracting me with all this other junk? So if I come in here, to my coherence principle, I click in the box, way too much distracting material that has nothing to do with fractions. Okay. 
little spelling mistake there. If it'll let me, it's not letting me. I'll just go ahead and fix it myself. That's all you're doing. Okay. Now, we said signaling. Video does signal what content is coming. There you go. It, it, you know, you're just basically looking at whatever you've created and put in here, and then you're evaluating it. Now, let's do the other one. So that would be for a video, a YouTube video. What if I had a PowerPoint that I wanted to use, and I have one right here. So here's my PowerPoint, um, and I can just basically make sure where it's going to go. This uh, big old video takes up a lot of space. You're not going to have all these files in here, so don't worry about it. But I'm going to bring that over, and I'm going to put it into my space. And when I save all this, what Steve will do is he'll come in, and he'll see it. He'll be able to click on it, and it will not open. So I'll just download it, and then what it'll do is I can then open it from there. So I can see your source material, and that's what I'll be doing, is I'll be looking at your source material first, and then I will go back and look at your discussion then about the source material and how it meets or does not meet. Do not, do not, do not try to go and find a video, a PowerPoint, a slides presentation that meets all of Mayor's principles. If you got one, great, super. But the whole point of this is for you to demonstrate your new knowledge here by being able to say, well, I'm sorry, coherence principle. Um, you have been violated because way too much distracting material in this thing. And redundancy. People learn better from graphics and narration than from graphics and narration and on-screen text. Take a look at that one very closely when you're looking at YouTube videos, especially ones that try to teach. Okay? Now, once you get all that done and you've saved your page, you know the drill. You come up here and you copy the URL. You come back into our assignments page. Come down here to where your assignment is for your hat. And you're going to essentially, I've already got it here. So you don't have to do anything here, okay? All I want, you see it says, copy the URL of your Wiki's multimedia and paste it in here. That's all you have to do, okay? Everything else is in there uh, just so that you can see it and you remember what you're doing. So you're just going to click on the right submission, it's all the way at the bottom. Paste in that link and looky, looky, it makes it a link. So it's all good. And then you're gonna submit it. That's it. Okay. And then when I go in to look at it, I'll see that link and I'll then be able to click on it and I can go to the page in your wiki where this has been put in there. That's it. As always, if you have any comments, concerns, if you've waited too long, <laughs> I hope you haven't waited too long. Um, I know that by now you're aware of the, the situation with the university, that they're basically going to uh, not end spring break until the 17th, uh, and then they're going to go all online. How they're going to do that, I don't know, folks, to be quite honest with you. I've been doing this a long time. And the amount of people at the university who actually use online to teach with is pretty small. But we'll see. But if you need more time, the university is giving us plenty of extra time. I think you've got all the time in the world to get this done. But if you do have a concern, question, you know how to reach me, 502-457-2937. I'm always here for you. I'm always willing to help you out in any way you need. Talk to you if you need to.